We're at the ribbon cutting for the new Pioneer Park Trail lights and fencing that have been installed. It's uh, Wednesday, June 3rd at about 4 p.m. and we've got a great crowd here at the 20 acre park with the mile long 10 foot wide trail, new light fixtures as you can see, and then down the road you can see the pond and maybe some of the fencing that has been installed protective around the culverts and around the pond and it is just a beautiful afternoon here. We dodged the rain and here's just a panoramic and then we'll go to some of the ribbon cutting ceremony. And weather got just a little bit inclement uh, and I don't know about the rest of you but I think today's a heck of a lot better day uh, to enjoy this as well as kick off uh, the new trail. Uh, this is one of many what I would say enhancements to our park and rec area. Um, obviously this is very noticeable with the widening of the trail and is for those that are good with measurements, it's actually a 10 foot trail. You may have seen it printed as a six foot trail, but it's a 10 foot trail. Uh, as well as in the last few days, you've seen the uh, decorative fencing go up, which uh, ties in real nice and other enhancements here. Uh, the, at least two groups I want to recognize, and Terry will recognize a few others. Uh, first would be, um, our, we've got two members from our park and rec board that are here today. That'd be Connie Lehan and Mick Soule that are on our park and rec board. And a number of others couldn't be here from that board today. And that board uh, meets at least monthly to review park, uh, park and recreation needs for our community. And also our park and rec staff for the city. And that would be uh, Steve Plum. Uh, Mick also works with the park staff. And then uh, Kevin Fromm, also known as Haas. So uh, those individuals are very connected to our parks and specifically to this park and the improvements that are done here. Uh, once again, I'd like to welcome you all. Please hang around, uh, enjoy the park. Feel free to take a walk this afternoon as well as uh, have a bite, uh, as well as uh, chips and a, and a drink. So once again, welcome, and I'll have Terry make a few comments. Thank you. I also want you to know if you are on the park board, you got to mow and do the park free, <laughs> right, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And anyway, thanks again. Got a good list of people. I don't think anybody's here from HMU, but their departments have helped a lot in this that we want to thank. Uh, Sunquist, uh, Joe Ruschenberg, have you arrived? I know he's thought he was going to make it, but uh, uh, Howie Construction out of Rockwell City. This is one of their mainstays now that they do. Uh, Brian Matson and Sean Roby couldn't make it, but I got the guy that started the company, Dave Howie, right there. Welcome. Do you have any comments? Just that what we like to do, I guess uh, one comment I could make, I didn't know what to say, but uh, this project is part of uh, last year primarily what we do is bicycle trails and recreational trails golf cart paths and uh, this job is part of 14,400 yards of concrete we poured and uh, mostly on trails last year uh, to people don't know how many how that is that would be 1,440 truckloads Kind of, kind of like the first bike you got on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Dave. You got it. Uh, another gentleman here for the Iowa Concrete Paving Association, John Cunningham. Raise your hand. Do you have any comments? Uh, well, I just <clears throat> I think you need to give the mayor a round of applause for arranging such a great day to have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nominated so we can send our judges out to look at it. It takes a great team to build a project like this, and you had a great team with, with Terry Cox and Joe Ruschenberg from Sunquist and Dave Howery. These guys did a fantastic job of pulling this together, and I think I saw Haas out here too in his pickup directing crews with the removal, right? <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I mean, you guys, you just you really did have a fantastic team working on this, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, this park looks uh, different. A lot different than the first time I came out and looked at it 